So I messed up, my face was covering it again. So we finished our solve. I know, and now we need to export it to our 3D software. So I'm gonna export this to Maya. I know we exported it first time through Maya, just as it was, but that was kind of the, not the, the best way to do it. That was still export was fine, but now we've done our survey and it's all correct and everything's gonna work magically and fantastic. So we need to export this to our software. So I'm gonna to go to 3D at the bottom left, export project, and you can see you've got all these selections. I'm gonna select Maya because I use Maya and it's, it's the industry standard and everyone uses Maya, so it's good to know. So it's pretty simple. It's a different sort of UI now. It's a, a Python exporter because they've um, upgraded all this and it's it seems pretty good. We're just gonna to go to browse and I've already exported this once because I've recorded it once and my face was covering it. So I'm just going to change it to three. My start frame starts at a thousand and one because that's my image sequence. Um, it might say one in yours if you haven't already changed this, but you do have this match current camera start frame. And if you select that, it will just come up and it will say the values of the first frame is frame one and start at a thousand one are different. Is this intentional? Continue and like, yes, it is. You start frame 1001. Our mode, we will export whole project because we just want our whole project. Um, Mayor group name is just the name of it. Our export, we only want to, you have all this selection here, you can pretty much export everything you want. I only want the sequence camera because this reference camera here is just doesn't matter anymore. Um, we do not want to, we don't want to export any 3D models. So that's no, because we've already got this in Maya. We don't want to double it up and create large export times. Well, it won't be large, it's just pointless. And that's pretty much it. All we need to do is now select OK. And it will come up with this window saying, Maya project successfully exported. And it will go through basically how to import into Maya because it's a Python um, way now you can just import it through the script editor or you can install the Maya shell through here and you can just copy it and install I didn't bother because honestly I, I, I've got Maya open I couldn't really be bothered to install a shelf when I can just install it through the script editor so it's entirely up to you you have it here and it's all pretty good and we have to just click OK and that's done we've exported it to Maya so now we'll import it into Maya